So I was justifiably pretty chuffed with taking a team from the Arctic Circle into the Champions League group stages, but we've been given odds of 10,000 to 1 to go on and win the tournament. Maybe those odds are accurate, maybe. We're just here for a good time, not for a long time, but if that is the case, we can at least sum up our participation in the group stages in one word, and that word is ka-ching! £14 million have come in just for taking part, never mind trying to win our first Champions League point, and we've invested that money already. New training facilities are planned, as well as new youth facilities, to help protect the future of the club and try and create the next generation of sub-zero heroes. But to our current generation, and Espin Larsson Plim has finally won that international cap means that we have an international striker to play for us in the Champions League tonight and we are going to need him because we kick off our campaign with a daunting trip to the San Siro. So since the last episode where we beat Rangers to get into the group stages, we've only played one game. It was a league fixture. We played Sanders. We won it, but... We really should have scored more goals. It looked a bit sterile in this game. The front two didn't really perform for us. We had an XG approaching 2.5. They only had one shot on target in the entire game, but we relied on a goal from Jonas Skogbrank Pedersen to get us the three points. The league is looking pretty encouraging now. We've only got nine games left of the season. We're 12 points clear, and maybe we can turn our focus onto what's coming up in our European calendar. We're starting away at AC Milan, then we've got an away trip to Old Trafford, back-to-back -back games against Norcherland before at the end of our domestic campaign, we welcome Milan and Manchester United over to the Arctic Circle. Squeezing out of this group is going to be incredibly tough, and we've got to have a little think about what tactic we're going to use for these tricky away ties since we played against Haugesund. Well, all of those results have been achieved, Playing a 4-4-2, but do you head to Old Trafford and the San Siro? Playing a 4-4-2 formation? I think we best have a think. So unsurprisingly, Milan are a little bit strong. They've got plenty of players valued over £40 million. And very little on their bench is going to be valued at under 20. They're going to play a 4-2-3-1. I expect they're going to be pressing high, trying to keep the ball. And we need to think about how we're going to try and counter that. I've decided to play a 4-4-2 hybrid where we're going to drop one of our two strikers to play in the number 10 position. It means that we're going to move Christian Pettersson out of the starting lineup. Larson Pleem's going to be a pressing forward trying to harry their back line. And Sturvold is going to try and be a creative force for us in the number 10 position out wide. Scott Van Pedersen is going to be charged. We're trying to get into the box and be creative for us. Whereas over on the right-hand side, Christian Burnson is going to come in, not as a winger, but just as a wide midfielder, trying to work hard up and down the flank, keep possession for us and protect a pretty young Vegard Jurgensen, who's going to be playing the biggest game of his fledgling career. He's going to be an overlapping outlet for us, hopefully, on the right-hand side. Maybe he can get balls in the box for Larson Pleem and an on-rushing Skogbrang Pedersen. Or maybe we're going to be camped out on the edge of our box for 90 minutes. I would imagine this entire tactic is going to get torn up when we're 2-0 down after five minutes. And I'm calling on Roy the Boy or Christian Pedersen to come on and make a 4-4-2 as we embarrassingly try to chase the game to make up for my tactical errors. But I thought, just trying to be a little bit more cautious for this away game, because they are going to have some world-class players, would be advisable. We're also pulling our lines down a little bit, so a standard line of engagement and a standard defensive line to try and make sure that we don't get caught out too often with balls in behind us, because we don't have the sharpest or quickest of defensive lines. I'm pretty pleased that this is a stronger team as we can put out we're going to have some good players on the bench that we can call on if we need to. But we're going to go out there and see just how good top-class European competition are when you take them on in the Champions League. OK, we are underway. I'd imagine there's a good 50,000, 60,000 in the stadium for this. This is going to be the biggest game, I think, of most of these players' lives, aside from... Maybe those Norwegian internationals that played in a World Cup quarter-final. 
And this is going to be a real test for our players. I think it's going to be about trying to keep the ball if we can. And doing just that, trying to spring little opportunities for Espen Larsen Plim to use his pace and hopefully his accurate finishing if we're going to have any chance of even snagging a goal. We've navigated 10 minutes before Milan have had a shot. Sturvold already looks like he's struggling for fitness after just 13 minutes. That could be a little bit worrying. We have got, unsurprisingly, defending to do as they bring the ball down our left-hand flank. We've got them in behind. And I thought that was going to be disallowed for offside. We've brought the lines back expressly to try and prevent opportunities like that for Milan. But I think their movement and their trickery has just outdone us. Look at their forward play. He's gone past the Arctic Tiger like he's not even there. And we are indeed a goal down. That might mean that we need to make tactical changes pretty quickly but we'll give it a little longer we've got a corner Sturvold's got it to Jurgensen and St Sturvold's actually in the box he's the man that's had a shot and a corner that comes to nothing but at least we did something that forced a corner and we look threatening from it Nordschalander beating Manchester United that's not a result that we wanted if we're going to have any hope in this group it's finishing above Nordschaland, I think, so that we qualify for the Europa League. If we get knocked out of this, still it's two shots all, one on target each. We've not had a disastrous first half. I thought we could have got blown away. But we've done okay. Balls like that from Scott Van Pedersen are not going to help. And now we've got defending to do. If we could stay at 1-0 until half time, well... Maybe we could chase it a little bit in the last half an hour, maybe 40 minutes to see if we could get an unlikely draw. But we've got to keep a clean sheet now for the final six minutes to go in just a goal down. And Milana looking threatening. Here's Geraldo. They've got the ball just in front of our defence and they've broken through again. The Arctic Tiger has been made a fool of on a couple of occasions now. Again, I guess he's still a very young player, as many of us are. But we've looked, we've restricted to Milan to just one shot on target. They scored from it. But it's not like they've completely dominated. And we've had an effort or two ourselves. They're coming at us again. Try and force him wide. That is an effort that I'm happy to concede. Strikes from that angle. And not going to beat us that often. We're still not at half time, and we're into the highlights again. Could we perhaps force a shot? I fear not. And ah, the pace of our back line is in evidence once and more. And they're in again, and Bratton's back and helping out his defence, and it's a good job he is. Maybe this highlight's not done. Burns and the wide midfielder has ambled forward, given the ball away. We've won it back again, and here is the man. That perhaps he's good enough to play at this level. He's there waiting for a pass. He's gone for him. Oh, and that was his effort. Scuffed it and the keeper saved it comfortably. And then we nearly get punished. In added on time, I felt like Larson Plea might just be Mr. Europe again. And put that one home. Well, what do you make of that first half then? It was hardly one for the neutrals. Three shots apiece, one on target apiece. We've probably had a chance to equalise at the end there. We're going to go in at half time and we're going to have a think. Do we come out firing in the second half? Or do we try and hang on in the game for a little bit longer? We're coming out firing. Sturvold was not playing well. Andy was struggling for fitness. He's gone. Christian Pettersson's off. We've pushed two up front. We've kept the rest of the tactic the same. So those lines are still slightly withdrawn. But now we've got two players to try and hit up front when we counter on them. And hopefully we can get rewarded for our bravery with a goal. Starting now, Scott Van Pettersson has got acres of space. And now he's got two men in front of him. He's used Bratton. We've got Jawar joining in from fullback. And we've got Bratton in again. And oh, there was a chance to get in behind him. 
I don't think the players work that very well between the two of them, but we're on the ball again. Burnson is this little right-sided midfielder. He's got Kirkwald, the deep-lying playmaker. We're actually looking fairly composed on the ball. Larson Plin gets it to Pettersson. Score, Grant Pettersson's in. That's another effort that stung the palms of the keeper. We're not being outclassed. On our big European night, we just need one of our players to take one of these pretty decent chances that we're creating. And from a corner, we're in again, you know. Jurgensen's dabbed one over. And now we've got to win the ball back. We've done it well. And we are actually looking pretty good at the start of this second half. We could, in the last 20 minutes, push those lines up and try and chase an equaliser if we need to. Keeping an eye on the fitness of the boys as well. Because I think we're going to need to make changes. Scott Frank Pedersen looks like he's off right now. With a knock, I think we've got Tristan Stangerby on the bench. Who could be a like-for-like -like change. And he is incredibly quick. They've let Scott Frank Pedersen back on the pitch. I wish he'd stayed off it with that pass. And this looks like a threatening opportunity for them. They're in again. Monnier has saved us. And I think we're going to have to make a little substitution because Scott Van Pedersen is not going to last much longer. Okay, we're back underway. The lines have been pushed up and we've also made our final change as well. Kirk Vold is playing poorly as our deep line playmaker. He's off. Burnson's gone into the midfield and we've brought the judge on over on the right wing. So we have got two out and out wingers on the pitch now. And we've got Christian Pettersen and the poorly performing Espen Larsen Pleem. Up front for them. That's got to be offside. It's a great finish. But surely that's not counting. What's going on? Do we have VAR? We have VAR. Maybe this is going to be a goal. It's disallowed. We're still in it. We've demanded more of the boys as well. We're not moving off a balanced mentality. We don't want to just be too reckless and play too many risky passes. But the lines are up. So we should be... A little bit more attacking. It's not creating very much at the moment though. We've got no more subs up our sleeve. It's going to be the players out there that we're relying on. And they've blasted another effort wide. Okay, we've got some tired legs. We're going to go back into the tactic. We're going to see what else we can do to try and put a bit more pressure on Milan. And try and grab an unlikely equaliser. Okay, here we go then. Final 10. We're playing a kind of a lopsided, asymmetric 4-4-2 now. We've pushed Reinholdson into the slot beyond the midfield four. That's where he prefers to play anyway. Monnier's tipping them wide since we tried to open the game up a little bit more. It's been all Milan. We've not really fashioned a chance. I think we were better sitting deep and trying to hit them on the break. Maybe I've pulled the trigger on trying to be a bit more attacking too early on we're now going to up our mentality we're going to demand more from them and we're going to pause it and we're going to go 4-2-4 and i think we're going to push the wing backs on as well we are very open now in fact let's make it into a diamond and really push people on let's see whether we can do something magical in injury time it's not looking likely in fact we're not really creating any chances this is going to be a proper highlight We've got a corner. We've committed everybody forward now. Could a set play save us? Bratton was in the box. Remember, Bratton used to play for Milan. I'm not sure he ever made an appearance for them, but he certainly signed for them. No heroic return to the San Siro for him. We've got Runigan on the bench as well. I'm pretty sure he went off to Milan at one point as well. Burnson's got the ball. We've still got time if he can find a ball up the line. He's gone inside. This is a bit ponderous, boys. We've got higher tempo on and it's not really working. Stangerby's got the pace. He's in behind him if he can find a ball. Oh, he could have gone down and tried to win a penalty. We've got one final set play. If this goes in, it's going to be a magical occasion. We've gone wide to the edge of the box. He's been hacked down. We're going to finish the game on a free kick. The ting is nowhere to be seen to take it. And Sturvold is the deputy. It's young Stangerby who steps up. And shows why he would be at best our third choice set piece taker. Then he commits the foul. And Milan have put in a pretty efficient performance, haven't they? They were the better team in that second half up until half time. I think we were with them, but some of our players just simply did not turn up. The youngster Jurgensen 
Not ready at 16. Larson Pleem definitely ready. Just let himself down. Nothing from the wide men. Jawad was poor. They shut us down out wide, didn't they? And that gives us something to think about. When we invite them over to the Arctic Circle, maybe playing with width against them. Wasn't the right strategy. We've got to go away and regroup. Because it doesn't get any easier. We've got to pack our bags for an away trip to Old Trafford now. And it looks like Man United had a difficult opening first match day themselves. Drawing 2-2 out in Denmark. We're going to go away, lick our wounds. Play a couple more league games. And we're going to see how we get on at Old Trafford. And by the time you come back, we're going to be playing Nordschland. We could already be out if we've lost. Or we could... Be on the way to becoming true Sub-Zero heroes.